three years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Amanda Lamarsh. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, John Magum All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one of this highly anticipated affair. Well rounded doesn't even begin to describe it. Both women have every skill in the book. Both of them have every skill in the book. They're so talented. They train so hard. They come from great camp. This is a very even match. Nice leg kick land. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Lands. What a body kick. Zhang's head kick is blocked. No damage there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, big left hand there. Big kick. Big body kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Powerful leg kick lands. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Sean gets caught with that punch. Nice leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes, which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Oh, she blocks the punch. And they separate. Straight punch lands. There's no tell in that leg kick. Whoa! What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her. Penguin still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing her.
got the turtle in that kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. And that one certainly found the target. Ten seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, let's get to round two. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick. And she caught the kick. Oh, the right hand is there for her. That was a thudding leg kick. Don't stop, don't stop. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly training at the gas tank of your opponent. Very nice leg kick there by Sean. Big head kick lands. Just a slip there. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Head kick. Visibly limping here. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Nice head kick. Nice strike. Just missed with the left there. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Good work. Good work. Final seconds. Lance a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh. Oh. All right, so a huge round for her there, DC. At one point, tried to kick her head off her body. Take us through the highlights, man. I mean, it looked like she was trying to kick it right off of her shoulder. She did a really good job of just finding her shot. She understood that her opponent was not seeing the head kick, so she went to the well. She went to the well multiple times, and she will continue to do that until her opponent stops. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick. Now connects with a right. Nice head kick. Another clinch position. Oh, effective.
offensive strike there by Zhang Wei Li. Oh! Brilliant submission defense there. Man, look at the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the... Oh, look at the inside leg kick. Hold it now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Big kick lands. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Oh! Oh! Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Zhang gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Back and forth we go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice kick. Well, she missed with that right hand. Twenty seconds left, and she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at time. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young men. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. It's round number four now. Who can really keep fighting at such a high level with such good technical skills as they've gone into round number four? Oh, nice right hand. Jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion, and Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English now. She understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight fans around the world. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the draft for the window. She's just getting a sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo here. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. And they separate. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight. Right, beautiful job defensively. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. 
Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Going for the body, missed with that kick. Beautiful kick. Nice body kick. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. She's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Battle for position here. Man, she's got some sting behind that uppercut. Beautiful land by her there. She has a real good knack for landing that strike. Zhang's kick to the body is blocked. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. And defensively, she didn't make any adjustments. She didn't make any adjustments. She's standing on a straight line. She's not moving the target. So when her opponent loads up and she throws her punches, she's exactly where she wants her to be. And it's showing in the damage that was done over the course of that round. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, man. Knee to the body. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Big leg kick land. Oh, big head kick. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by Sean. Well, this has been a fight that has had it all, and we are going down the stretch, my friend. Down to the wire. You would not have wanted anything more as a fan. This has been a great fight, a great story from the very moment the official said fight. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Flicks the guard, lands the right hand. What a punch. She lands a combination. Whoa! She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that Dad fixed strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish his fight. Zhang's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. And she caught the kick. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. <laughs> Big punch land. Oh, beautiful leg kick by her there. Can't take too many of those. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Sean. Here's Bruce Buffett. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and new undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Amanda Lombard! All right, so we have a new strawweight queen here tonight as she begins to celebrate with her coaches and her teammates. What a moment for this newly minted UFC women's strawweight champion. And now the path to 115 pound gold goes through this woman. Gonna take a big effort now to dethrone the new champion. 